Hello friends, we are in geothermal area of Kveradalir in Iceland and uh, some days ago we had an explosion here like uh, the, the, the earth cracked and something happened, I will show you it was in the news, well, right here over there there's lots of geothermal activity here and the hot springs uh, go under the road under the highway Yeah, the explosion was here, like the ground just um, exploded, like not really volcanic eruption, but you see um, the sulfur, the yellow thing, uh, <coughs> mix it with um, brown clay, generate this grayish color, so it was sulfuric uh, explosion there. You see all this mud came out like almost like from a volcano, it's, it, uh, like a lava, <laughs> lava. <laughs> uh, not a real level, but you know, it's just a mud, mud explosion. Mm. And the activity in this area had been intensifying uh, with years, like it's getting more and more kind of dangerous here. Because, for example, this uh, thing here uh, wasn't that big, it's just growing in size. Yeah, that is the mud that uh, came from that eruption, uh, geothermal eruption. <laughs> you can say that uh, some days ago. It was probably in the night because it was reported in the news uh, some days ago, and uh, I, I only now see this thing that what happened here. You see, but, uh, I have to calm it uh, to film it better, but. Uh, So this is, Iceland is just a big Yellowstone, <laughs> we have such areas all over, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> an explanation of uh, how this thing works you see the magma chamber and um, now what is the picture? here you can read it There are about 20 high temperature areas in Iceland. They are all situated uh, on or near active volcanic and rift zone. Here we have the rift zone and the central volcano, Hangit. Uh, they are often situated in the center of volcanic systems and are defined as areas where geothermal temperature is 
200 degrees Celsius at 1000 meters depth. There was a sauna here in the old days. See, and this is a skiing resort of all times. And cheers, greetings from Iceland, God bless.